Here on the Now in Kansas City, we've been following a string of measles cases in Kansas. Now, health officials think there could be more of them out there, maybe even in the Kansas City area. Some people might have been exposed to the virus during a softball tournament in Wichita. That happened on the 4th of July at the South Lake Sports Complex. Eight teams from four states, including Kansas and Missouri, were part of this tournament. Someone there had the measles and may have spread it, but the state has yet to link any cases beyond that one. So if you were at this tournament and you've been sick lately, get checked out by a doctor. At least two recent measles cases in Wichita have ties to Kansas City, but the health department hasn't said if those are connected to the softball tournament. In the Kansas City area alone, there have been at least 13 cases of measles this summer. So here's why this is such a big deal. The Centers for Disease Control says measles cases haven't been this high in 14 years. So far this year, there have been 566 confirmed cases in 20 different states. Last year, there were only 159 total. The CDC says measles are usually pretty rare in the states, but worldwide, some 20 million people are infected every year, and at least 164,000 die from it. Just like the flu, the measles can spread quickly and really easily. It spreads relatively quickly because it's through if someone sneezes on something, measles can spread very quickly. Even just with exposure, you don't necessarily have to touch them. If the person's coughed near you or sneezed near you, you could get it. But again, it only applies to people who are not vaccinated. That doctor there works at the University of Kansas Hospital. She says the best defense against the measles, get vaccinated, especially kids under five years old. So here are the symptoms that you need to look for. The usual signs of illness, fever, runny nose and cough. But the rash is the biggest indicator here. It's usually blotchy and spreads from the head to body and then the legs. Plus, tiny white spots will develop in the mouth. But this disease can cause some really serious complications like pneumonia, even brain inflammation. So be on alert for that.